Myra first moved to Berkeley, which was maybe 10 years ago or something, we decided to try to play a little music together and it, let's have our own project and who should we invite to be part of it. And as we talked about it more and more, we kind of all of a sudden we thought, wait, maybe we don't need to invite anybody, just like have a duet. In every part of the process of putting a musical performance together, there's a lot of conversation going on. There's a lot of exchange of ideas. It's particularly important when you're improvising with someone to feel a sense of trust. Whatever you play, that person is gonna be there. They're listening, they're gonna support you, right? They may challenge you, but they're there in the moment with you. I feel that with Ben. I think that's one of the very special things about working with him. I love improvising with someone who's always got something new to say in a different way, a different angle, a different way of presenting an idea. He's a very stimulating conversationalist. Improvising is very much, especially in a duet, like having a conversation when we're talking. There's always this give and take. There's a uh, time to think about what the person has just said and then respond. And yet sometimes you get so excited about an idea that you both want to talk at the same time. And fortunately in music that can work. <laughs> Having two people, just like in a movie, if you have two people, then it allows the audience to identify with the two people because everybody has the experience of having a dialogue. We are in dialogue with each other and it also becomes very clear hopefully to the listener that there's two people having a conversation and it allows the listener to kind of invest some of themselves in each of us or one of us participate in the dialogue. I'm nourished by the incredible musical resources that Myra brings to every situation that she's in and puts them all in the service of a very uh, joyful and exuberant spirit. Recording came very naturally out of the way we work together. We have certain music that we've been playing for the past few years that works really well for the duo, and it made complete sense to just continue working with that material and to present that uh, in a recorded version. Um, but along the way, we started writing some music specifically for each other, and that's also part of this recording. I think it's a very good representation of the energy that happens between us when we really connect. And we allow the, the sound of the duo to be as spare as it needs to be and as simple as it needs to be.